What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing another standalone G Fuel flavor that is not inspired by any creator or movie or anything like that. This is just a standalone G Fuel flavor called Lime Margarita. So this flavor is going to be interesting. I don't think there's going to be any hints of alcohol in here. G Fuel has had many other flavors that are inspired by an alcoholic beverage. So if you think of Miami Nights, that's based off of a Miami Vice and Bahama Mama. And I'm sure, I believe G Fuel has had a few more. I'm thinking Lime Margarita is just going to be this like refreshing lime flavor. And I'm hoping it, I don't know, I, I feel like with all the lime flavors that G Fuel has had in the past, they have been slightly, if not fully, a artificial lime. So I'm hoping this is, I don't know, it has like a real strong, real lime taste to it. So before we continue with the video, I just want to say thank you everybody for tweeting me. I've had a ton of you guys tweeting me using code SHOCK, picking up the new Gummy Sharks and Lime Margarita. So just want to say thank you guys. Uh, code SHOCK is 30% off for both of those tubs. So you get a full 30% off if you guys are thinking about picking either one of those up. And if you guys want to check out my Gummy Sharks review, that is up as well. But anyways, guys, let's take a look at this tub. So this is a very simple tub. You've got the Lime Margarita text there, G Fuel. And then you've got like, I don't know, I guess like a Paradise Beach party going on in the back here. That's what I would explain it as. You've got like the beach here. It's like sunset. It's a really, really cool art. Got lots of palm trees. Just some simple, cool art. And then you've got a lime margarita right there. Now, if you guys want to take a look at the ingredients label, it's right here. I'm not seeing anything popping out to me that's uh, unique or new in this tub. This tub does use artificial coloring in this one. And then there's some of those other labels here. And the expiration date is 07 of 2026. So it looks like this tub was just made. It's a pretty new tub. Not much to talk about with this one, guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. Let me know if you guys have gotten this yet. Uh, I believe it should be shipping now. G Fuel did send me this one a little bit early than uh, what uh, I would normally get it because I think the one that I ordered just shipped yesterday and this just got to me today. So I'll probably get the one that I ordered on the site like, I don't know, maybe Monday. So let me know if you guys live close to G Fuel and just got yours today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give lime margarita a smell, shall we? Here we go. Um, I don't really think that smells like a different lime versus like, like a lemon lime G Fuel or the like strawberry limeade, limeade the Rick and Morty flavor. Kind of just smells like a normal lime that we've had from G Fuel before. So I'm not not getting like overwhelming amounts of a different type of lime or something that they're using in here. The powder is white, but it does have a slight orange reddish tint to it, I would say. Definitely having trouble finding our scooper today, without a doubt. Wow, that baby is all the way at the bottom. Holy crap. All right, guys, now when it comes to the scooper, I usually like to take off this top section here because that's for funneling into water bottles and stuff. And usually I do not put G Fuel in water bottles. I usually, most of the time, will use a shaker. And one scoop of G Fuel is right there. So that's what one scoop looks like. You want to fill it right to that line, not the line with that top section on. So I've got 16 ounces of water here, some ice cubes like normal. Let's get our scoop here of lime margarita, put it in. I'm gonna give this a mix for 30 seconds to a minute. All right, guys, let's go ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like all mixed up. You got a nice light lime color going on here. It's a little bit more of a, on the line of like a fluorescent yellow, I would say. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and give it a smell, shall we? Here we go, lime margarita. 
What do we got for smell? Okay. Yeah, so I would say this smells much better when it's mixed up rather than the tub. It smells a little more artificial in the tub, but when it's mixed up, that's a very genuine lime smell. Like if I got a lime drink at a restaurant, that's what I'd expect it to smell like. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it a go, lime margarita. All right, guys, so what I will say about the lime margarita G Phil flavor is I personally think that this is probably my number one or two favorite lime flavor from G Fuel because when I look at some of the lime flavors on my shelf, like key lime pie, I didn't like key lime pie because it didn't have like that zesty lime flavor that this has. This has that real zesty like lime flavor that hits you that I wish key lime pie had. Uh, with watermelon limeade, I feel like I like the cans but I've never really been too much of a fan of the tub because it's a little bit more on the candy side and I'm not really someone who likes the candy uh, G Fuel flavors. And then you've got Temp V, which is also just lemon lime. I would say my other favorites are probably something like Cherry Limeade or maybe the uh, Rick and Morty flavor, which is a strawberry limeade. So I would say if you're somebody who likes uh, cherry limeade or strawberry limeade, you are definitely going to like the lime margarita flavor. Or if you just want a straight up lime G Fuel flavor, that's like, it, you've got that sourness of a lime, you've got the zestiness of a lime, and it's still, it's very refreshing as well. I don't think it's anything insanely groundbreaking. Now, in terms of the margarita, I'm not really getting anything. I'm not getting any hints of alcohol, okay? I, I'm not getting anything like that. And I, I'm not even tasting any salt either because usually there would be salt on the rim, but I'm not tasting any salt, so. And why would G Fuel do that? Because it wouldn't really taste that good, I don't think, so. This is just a refreshing, zesty, sour, lime, flavor and it's very refreshing as well. All right guys, so lime margarita, where's it gonna go on my tier list? I am going to put it in the really good category and I actually moved some of my tubs and stuff around here so if it looks a little different from yesterday, it's cause I just kind of moved some stuff around uh, because you know, my opinions do change and stuff and we definitely gotta give the whole tier list a good old revamp soon here. But what I will say is I'm gonna put in really good I would drink it over just plain watermelon, I think, but I don't think it's better than the Rick and Morty flavor or Miami Nights or Kamehameha. Uh, I do think those are a bit better, um, but I do think, like I said, I think it's better than watermelon by itself, and it's definitely better, in my opinion, than watermelon limeade and a few other lime flavors. And that is going to get, I would say, a 7.1 out of 10. I don't know why, but I feel like I was expecting a little bit more of something. I'm not really sure why I was. I'm guessing just because it said margarita, I was, I don't know, expecting something more. Um, but I am glad it is just a real lime flavor. That's what I'm happy about. It's real lime, it tastes good, it tastes refreshing. Um, I've been really into like Mexican food uh, recently. I've always loved taking a lime and just putting a little bit on the top if I make tacos or taco salad or something like that. And I've also loved making mango lime smoothies and with spinach, those are great. I love the lime flavor that comes out of those, just amazing. So I love lime and I think this is a great flavor. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did you decide to pick this one up? Did this review make you decide not to pick it up or to pick it up? Let me know down below, but I wanna thank all you guys for using code SHOCK recently. Again, it really does mean a lot to me because all of you guys that decide to use my code continues and enables me to keep on doing this for a living. So just really wanted to say thank you guys. And I'm excited for, of course, the future of Mango Lemonade. Super excited to 
uh, continue to do some stuff with Mango Lemonade. And Mango Lemonade, I'm pretty sure just sold out. There's like 50 or 100 tubs left on the G Fuel website. So if you guys pick any of those up, make sure to let me know. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and peace out.